Hey everyone, it's me. I hope you're well. I haven't been here for a while, but I wanted to come on right now because if you're still worried about your January figures, you haven't yet made your sales, maybe you want to get more clients through the door, more traffic to your website, or you perhaps want to get more inquiries just in your books, all right? There's something that you need to do, and that is to review what you've done so far, okay? And that is to review what you've done so far. Now, I'm saying this twice for a reason. A lot of us have been in business for a while now. A few people, certainly, that I'm connected to in my community online, doing really, really, really well. Many of them are doing very well, flourishing businesses. But for those of us that aren't doing so well, the question I've got for you is, why is that? What are you actually doing in your business that might need tweaking? What are you doing that needs developing or some work? The quickest way to work that out is to carry out an audit or a review. And there are several things you might want to review. The first thing that you might want to review is your spend. In other words, how you're spending your time, how you're spending your money. The second thing you might want to review is your customer type. Are you actually targeting the right types of customer? The third thing you might want to review is the amount of time you spend online and offline in terms of tactics, okay? So we're talking now about specific strategies that you might be using online and offline to see whether or not they're actually getting you any real results, okay? And there are different areas that you might want to look at. I've just covered off there three key areas. But the reason I'm coming on to say that is that even if you didn't have a great month in January, your February, your March, and the rest of the year can be absolutely amazing if you just knuckle down and review what you've done so far, even if you take it in you know, the last quarter, the last month, the last year, and try and get to a state where you actually understand and you're clear on what you need to do to get the best results in your business. Because if you're not clear, then you're working without any real aim. You haven't got a focus, perhaps you are not necessarily getting the results because of that. So I'm just here to encourage you for the weekend, if you get 15 minutes, just actually take some time out to write down what are your priorities, what's the money you've got available to actually you know, organize yourself in your business. Hey Charmaine, what's the money you've got available to organize yourself in your business when it comes to resources, when it comes to systems, processes, and of course, branding and marketing. But more importantly, what are you gonna do differently this month? Now we're just at the start of February, right? And if you want a different month this month, to what you may have had in January, and even if you did well in January, perhaps you want to improve on that. The only way you can do that is if you review what you're doing so that you can tweak and do less of or more of the things that are getting you the results. So there you've got it, some quick tips from me. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I will be back, I'll be online. And if you're wondering what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just out shopping, but you might want to actually check out my latest events that I want Eventbrite by just searching Insights, the number two, marketing. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.